Hello students, today we are going to learn Griffith's experiment from chapter Molecular Basis of Inheritance. This experiment was performed by Frederick Griffith in 1928. Let us study the details of Griffith's experiment. Griffith in his experiment used mouse as you can see over here on the screen and he used two strains of a bacterium called Streptococcus pneumoniae. The name of first strain was smooth strain and the name of second strain of Streptococcus pneumoniae was rough strain. Now let us understand why the names were smooth and rough strains. When Streptococcus pneumoniae grown on a culture plate, here you see this is culture plate. When Streptococcus pneumoniae is grown on a culture plate, it produces two different types of colonies. The colony which appears as rough is said to be of rough strain and the colony which appears as smooth is said to be of smooth strain. So here you see this is the colony which is smooth in appearance, smooth shiny in appearance and here is the colony which is rough in appearance. Now let us understand why some Streptococcus pneumoniae produce smooth colony and why some Streptococcus pneumoniae produce rough colonies. The Streptococcus pneumoniae which is surrounded by a polysaccharide coat will always produce smooth colony and the streptococcus pneumonia which is devoid of any polysaccharide coat here you will see okay this streptococcus pneumonia is devoid of any polysaccharide coat this streptococcus pneumonia will produce rough colony so rough colonies are produced by streptococcus pneumonia which is without polysaccharide coat around it and smooth colonies are produced by streptococcus pneumonia which is having polysaccharide coat around it we also call it as capsule now let us go and study the next step of Griffith's experiment Griffith in next step took the smooth strain here you can see this smooth strain and he injected into a mouse and after injection he found the mouse was dead okay it was because streptococcus pneumonia caused pneumonia and the mouse died of pneumonia so he considered Streptococcus pneumoniae as virulent because when Streptococcus pneumoniae smooth strain was injected into a mouse, the mouse died. In his next step, he took rough strain and he injected into a mouse and after injection of rough strain into mouse, he found mouse did not die. So he considered rough strain as non-pathogenic, unable to cause disease. Now let us go and study next. Then he took smooth strain and he heat killed it. Here you see the smooth strain is heat killed. And this heat killed smooth strain was injected into a mouse. Here you see this heat killed smooth strain was injected into a mouse. And after injecting the heat killed smooth strain into mouse, Griffith observed mouse did not die. So he concluded that heat killing makes the Streptococcus pneumoniae smooth strain unable to cause the disease in the mouse. As a result, the mouse survived. Next, he took the mixture of heat killed smooth strain and rough strain. Now heat killed smooth strain is unable to cause the disease, rough strain is also unable to cause the disease. He took these heat killed smooth strain and rough strain together as mixture and he injected into a mouse. And after injection he found that the mouse died. That was quite unusual result because when the rough strain alone was injected, mouse did not die. And when heat killed smooth strain was injected, mouse did not die. So Griffith decided to check the blood out of the dead mouse and he found that the blood of dead mouse was having smooth strain. But he never injected the smooth strain. He injected heat killed smooth strain and rough strain. So he concluded that when there is heat killing of smooth strain, here you see, when smooth strain is heat killed, it releases certain cellular components on from it into the medium. 
and these cellular components they enter the rough strain and convert this rough strain into smooth strain and this conversion of rough strain which is also called as type 2 R strain into smooth strain which is also called as type 3 S strain is called as transformation but he could not identify what is the biochem biochemical nature of the substance that enters the rough strain so he named that substance as transforming principle the substance that caused conversion of rough strain into smooth strain was given a name transforming principle now let us understand how much you have grasped by solving the mcqs transformation experiment was performed by of course it was performed by frederick griffith so this experiment was performed by frederick griffith in 1928 now let us go and study the next question pneumonia is caused by Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus pneumoniae, influenza virus, retrovirus. Of course, the pneumonia is caused by smooth strain of Staphylococcus pneumoniae that we have learned earlier. Now, next question for you is In the Griffiths experiment, why did mice die when injected with live R bacteria plus? heat killed S bacteria. So the question is why mouse died when the mixture of rub strain and heat killed smooth strain was injected into a mouse? Now first option some of the bacteria S bacteria were still alive. Next option the R bacteria had taken up the transforming factor or principle from the dead smooth bacteria third option the r bacteria had mutated to become virulent fourth option all of the above now let us go and study the first option some of the smooth bacteria were still alive okay this option can't be correct because when smooth strain which was heat killed injected into a mouse the mouse did not die so there is no question of having some of smooth bacteria alive when they are heat killed so option one is ruled out then let us go and study the next option the r bacteria had taken up the transforming factor or principle from the dead s bacteria yes this is correct option because when the rough strain was mixed with smooth strain which was heat killed certain cellular components of smooth strain they entered the rough strain and those cellular components are given name transforming factors or principle principles and they are they are responsible for conversion of rough strain into smooth strain so this is the correct option now let us confirm the answer okay by reading the third option the R bacteria had mutated to become virulent. Now that can't be the case because when R bacteria were alone injected into a mouse, the mouse did not die. So the R bacteria do not spontaneously mutate to form virulent smooth spray. So the correct option is option number second. The R bacteria had taken up the transforming principle or transforming factor from the dead S bacteria. Thank you.